How you going? My name's Anthony Kassar. Welcome to my workshop. And today, I've got a ripper for you and it concerns a saw. So, come down to the workbench and I'll show you what I mean. Saws. There's lots of different types. You've got your traditional tenon saw. You've got your new, uh, not really new age, but maybe for uh, all us Westerners, this is a new age uh, pull saw. Um, and obviously, because I take a, uh, I've taken a shining to the pull saws, I've got a couple of different varieties. Um, just to show a few. And today, what I want to what I want to demonstrate for you is, is how us professionals over the years have perfected our sawing technique. And I'm going to show you a little trick that was taught to me by my master and mentor. Uh, over 17 years ago, that's uh, helped me quite a bit. So, by um, hopefully demonstrating it to you, and you can pick up on this little technique, you'll find your soaring to be a lot more uh, enjoyable and maybe less frustrating for saw drift. So, I'll uh, pull you into the workpiece. I've just got a bit of celery top pine here that I'm going to demonstrate on, and. Um, yeah, I'll show now you. Now I've got you nice and close. What I'm gonna do is just do a square mark, just as a reference on the top edge. Now, for all you uh, beginners, it's definitely well worth running your square down the down the um, edge as well, both sides if you need to. Uh, it it uh, makes no difference to whether you're using a pull saw such as this, or if you're going to go more traditional. Uh, with your tenon saw or dovetail saw. All it is is just so long as you've gotten a reflective surface, you'll be able to pick this up. Now, before I start cutting, I'm just gonna show you what I mean. Can you see straight through there, or you should be able to see it, uh, there's a reflection of the timber that's on the saw blade itself. So if I actually tilt that and twist the saw, you'll be able to see that that mirrored reflection changes. So like in a mirror when you want to look at something uh, symmetrical, you pretty much want to do the same thing. So first up uh, is making the cut from one side to the other. So now from there, this is where if you've tilted it back too far, you can see that the angle changes left or right. Uh, you'll be able to see it a lot more better if you try this in your workshop. Go grab a handsaw and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's probably, it's showing up a little bit okay on the camera. So all I want to do is run this line so it runs up the reflection and when I side it, it's actually flowing to the other side. So it's not out at all, it's flowing um, pretty much perfectly. If you are out a little bit, that's nothing to worry about. You can, you can um, rectify it later on. And then the next thing is make sure you use as much as the blade as possible just to make your life a little bit easier. Last thing you wanna do is this, because that's just, that's just, yeah, I, I don't even want to tell you what it is. Uh, so you want to go full motions, and as you're making the cuts, you want to make sure that you're keeping the saw blade as straight as possible so the reflection is not twisting. So, and there you go. It's nice and square. If I run it down the other side, we're nice and square. 
So, it's as easy as that. If you were running a, a mitre, you would obviously have the same thing, but as you can see, the more of a, once you hit that 90 degree, or oh, that mitre, you can see that it comes off square. You've got a square section rather than it going parallel like it does here. 45, you can actually check the angle and it does show up in, in this reflection as a square piece and then you know that you're pretty much smack on. But um, you're gonna wanna still make sure you've got a line there and what you're gonna do is just help, uh, try and make it that it looks level and then cut away. And that's pretty much it. It's uh, the purpose of the of the tip was just to show you how to utilize your saws properly and hopefully help you um, learn how to hone your skills by using the actual saw itself rather than overcompensating or I don't know, you, you might run into some snags. I know when I was a, a little kid, I used to run into some snags until uh, my mentor and uh, master taught me um, this little helpful trick and yeah, sawing technique. Um, so uh, on that note, if you did uh, if you did enjoy the video, please uh, go ahead and hit that like button. It uh, it at least lets me know that I'm giving you guys and girls the content that you are after in uh, helping you grow as woodworkers. And um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I am going to be having more uh, let's call them interesting. Uh, sessions. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have some good stuff out and um, some yeah techniques and builds and etc. Et and um, also on that note, I uh, know it's been a little bit since I've I've uh, posted so I've uploaded something, not posted something, but uploaded something. Uh, I've been pretty flat out because uh, I've got a, I run a business on the. Well, I run a business, it's not on the side. I kind of do YouTube on the side and the other social media is on the side, but I run a business uh, full time. So uh, between clients, social media, clients, jobs, uh, sometimes I get quite overwhelmed. I've got quite a bit of work on at the moment and um, yeah, just trying to pull myself aside to um, record something and uh, give you guys and girls some uh, some good content to, to um, look at and and pretty much my, my end game is to help anyone out there that needs the help to hone their skills and actually show you how to do it rather than just doing it and you've got to ask a million questions or I don't know, just not know. Uh, it was um, part of my career growing up really useful and helpful having an actual master craftsman from uh, England that taught me and alongside with um, other things as well, which we'll get into as um, time progresses. Um, but I have, you know, I've shown you some uh, a good chiseling technique, how I sharpen my, my chisels. If you haven't seen them yet and you, you knew you're coming on here, you should uh, definitely go to my um, page and or channel and check it out. And now I've uh, shown you uh, a good way to utilise your, your your saws which it, as long as it's got a reflective surface, you are not going to have an issue. It's going to show up exactly how I've stated. And um, now from here on out, I do want to, um, I, I do actually have some builds in mind to share with you all, um, but that's going to take a little bit of um, extra training myself, just working out cameras and the rest of it. So while I'm uh, still learning, I suppose, I can uh, show you some good tips and tricks and and um, also one thing that I will get going for you, so at least then you've got something where you can learn as well, is uh, set aside some time and actually create some joints, starting off really basic and then heading up to some good fun stuff. Uh, and also with uh, each episode, I'll be explaining to you how to use the joint, where to use the joint, and give you a couple of alternatives if you don't want to do it by hand, as how I'm going to show you. Um, so, but with me saying that, um, 
yeah, hope you've all had a great day and I will catch you next time. See us.